bringing dull photos to life. That's the topic of this Luminar 4 training video. So thanks so much for joining me again for this one, guys. This is number 11 in our series. If you want to watch the other videos, I've got a whole playlist that this is a part of. But in this one, we're going to feature two main tools. We're going to look at the clarity tool, which is AI clarity, so it's like clarity on steroids. Grr. It's real rugged, real good. And we're also going to look at the dehaze tool as well. So let's dive right into the video. Let's go. I took this photograph on the back of a moving boat just before it actually backed me underneath this waterfall. It was an amazing experience, but the photograph itself is kind of lacking a little something. It just needs a little more punch. So let's see what we can do. Let's come to the edit tab and we're going to go into essentials. So that's this icon right here. Once we're in there, let's come into AI structure and see what we can do by cranking that up. Let's take it all the way to the max. And you can see that is an absolutely dramatic transformation. So let's double click to reset it. That was before. And as we drag it up, we can see that we really can add a lot of life to this otherwise kind of dull photo. We could set that somewhere around 40, 50. I'm happy with that. There's a lot more we could do with this photo, but we're going to leave it there in this example. With this photograph, we're going to have a little look at the dehaze slider. The concept behind the dehaze tool is basically to break through that misty, hazy layer that you sometimes get in photographs. This was shot right in the early hours of the morning as the sun was just coming up. So let's see what the dehaze tool can do. Let's come to the essentials tab, landscape enhancer, and right there we can see dehaze. Let's start to move this to the right. As you can see, it's kind of cutting straight through that hazy layer. So as to where and how far you take this slider, that is personal preference and it's all subjective. For me, I'm going to leave this around halfway through. Although this is a look at just improving dull photos with the dehaze and AI structure tool, let's just put a little bit of gold now because I remember it being a nice warm time. So if we increase that, look at that lovely warmth we're adding there. A little bonus tip for you. The tools in Luminar are just so intuitive that it's just really great to dive in and play around and see what you can come up with. Let's have a look at our before and after. Let's click the eye icon here for our before and release for after. Having seen that now, I think I might just take that dehaze just a little bit further just to add more impact. There we go, before and after. Nice. So now we've looked at both our dehaze and our AI structure tools. Let's see what they can do working together. Hi guys, I'm back with my face. Just to say to you really quickly, if you want to subscribe to the channel to learn more about Luminar 4 and just photo editing in general, I would love it. Um, I really want to grow this channel. I am a professional photographer, but I'm really interested in just sharing my knowledge. I love teaching. So if you want to learn more, I want to teach more. So let's do this together. So join me, hit that subscribe button and let's carry on with the video. Cheers. This image is an ideal candidate for the dehaze tool. As you can see, as the path winds off into the distance, you can see the layer of fog just adding more and more haze in the image. So here we're going to use the dehaze slider, see what we can do with that tool. And then we're also going to use AI structure just to see what, how we can bring this otherwise dull photo to life. First of all, let's have a look at dehaze. So let's grab this slider and see if we can't cut through that haze a little bit. That's great. As we take that from 0 to 100, we can really see the difference that this tool is making. Now let's go to the AI structure, grab the amount slider and see how that works. Oh, that's great. We're really bringing out those details there because the AI structure tool is looking at localized contrast and just increasing that contrast. Usually you want to consider these tools and perhaps use them with a little more subtlety, but for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to leave those both at 100 and show you our before and after and show you it's that simple to add life to otherwise dull photos in Luminar. 
don't know about you guys, but I really like the way Luminar works. It's really intuitive. So I'm looking forward to sharing more within this playlist and this training series. So go ahead and click the link. I've got another video for you and I've also got that playlist shared here as well. So just go ahead, dive into another video and I'll see you there. Cheers for watching.